Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Hey, bud. Hey, me. I was gonna shoot you with this rubber band, and don't then you, you do scared that? me. Do you remember? Do you remember kids doing this in school? Yeah, I do. Don't shoot a rubber band at me. Why? Because what if it hits my eye? Oh my god, I'm officially old. Yeah, what's wrong with you? You can get, you can poke your eye out. You can shoot your eye out with that thing. I've only seen one person in my entire life with an eye patch on, and they still had an eye. They just got like surgery. And on, honestly, eye patch. What's wrong? Patch. <laughs> what's wrong? With the eye smoke, patch. The smoke is getting to me. Oh. Honestly, eye patch. Not the worst, like, you kind of look sweet if you have an eye patch. I Instant conversation starter. I feel like you could pull off an eye patch, but I, I don't think that I can. Well, I think what helps is my bigger eyebrows. I think your eyebrows are too small. I think it's your skin tone. I do think, yeah, I'm more, pirate, skin tone. I'm more pirate-like. Yeah, because they're, like, tan. They're at sea. They're tan. They're out in the sea. Yeah. They probably have, you know, some form of scurvy. I don't know if that affects the blood or the skin as much, but it definitely I feels a it just kills way. you. Does it? Scurvy? I, I don't know. I thought, isn't that like a really bad C fever? It's like a... No, scurvy, I think, is a vitamin C deficiency. Oh. That's why they would get it on the C, because they wouldn't get a lot of fruit. They eat a ton of meat. Oh. Because they fight they fishing. I thought they would, like, steal, though. Steal some... Yeah, but I don't think they were stealing fruit. They were stealing, like, booty and money. Booty is could be fruit, though. Isn't booty just, like, whatever's on a yeah, ship? Yeah, I think it's subjective. I think booty be bo what booty be, you know? Okay. I like the booty on the ship be there with grapefruit. But no, pirates aren't going out there and stealing grapefruit. I'd be pissed if I was, like, going to steal a bunch of fruit and it ended up being grapefruit. Mm, what would be the fruit you would, like, be pumped to steal? Watermelon. Yeah. Holy shit. Watermelon, peaches. Peaches? Why did you say it like I don't that? Know. I don't know. I love peaches. peaches. I love peaches, though. Yeah, no, peaches. Uh, fucking, uh, uh, you know what I just had? Recently, the little peach cups. Oh, the the, the my the fruit cup? eats them. Yeah, I like those. The orange like, ones are he was good. Like, you need to have. He and didn't say. Like, he right. didn't say it like that. Your nephew's too young. No, I don't know what he said. He probably said like, yeah. No, no, no. He speaks words, dude. How old is he? Three. Yeah, he yeah, says but like, like they speak like says, dumb words. He called. He says, Uncle Joey, your turn. He says, everyone's turn. Your oh, turn to do what? At literally everything, or mostly. Not your turn. Oh, oh. <laughs> or I don't want. I don't want. Yeah. Ruby, Ruby. Uh, her new thing is uh, I need. I need. I need that. I yeah. need that. And I'm like, you don't need that. Right. I do. And, and then like, you give it this whole like, speech about like, there's needs and there's wants. Understanding needs and wants and Maslow's hierarchy of needs and how this this chapstick on the counter does not fit into that. Right. Exactly. She's big in chapstick right now. Eating it or just like using no, it? No, no, no. She just holds it and walks around with it all day and just at random points she just goes. Does she actually put it on? or she Yeah, it's adorable. It's the cutest thing on the planet. Nice. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? How are you doing? Good. Just got back from a trip to Denver, and now you're back in this, you guessed it, hellhole. Yeah, we are uh, currently under smoke at the moment. It's fucking straight gas out there, Chief. It is straight gas. Well, mostly... Mostly... Smoke. Smoke, yeah. Yeah. Which That's what people... That the smoke. air quality is 1,000. Yeah, it's pretty high. Which, why do they, as the higher it goes, the worse it is? I feel like that's stupid. Well, well because it's the particles that are in the air. It's like particles per Frankie, million. please don't give me a fucking answer. Uh, I'm, I don't became, answer me. I became one of those, those people that Jesus. I hate in the comments where they're like, actually, guys, if you want to be educated. I'm just thinking about scales, dude. What is the scale even fucking up to? Because it should be 1 to 100. Give it a score. The lower it is, the shittier the air is. If it's 100, we got great air. 100%. Oh, 100. like you're grading it like a like test. Like a test. Like you're grading it like a test. Like they but, give you back, a, if the air quality comes back at like a 65, you're like, see me after class. Yeah, exactly. Air quality. Yeah, well, and actually, no, that's passing. 55, you'd be like, dude. No, well, all right, so 64, you'd be like, this is unacceptable. Six, right. I don't know. I, I, I think it should be, I think zero is what you want it to be because zero is like crystal clear. Like but the air quality is zero. I'd be like, holding my breath. Well, would you? I, I think the higher it would be, you hold your breath. The quality of something, when it is h higher quality, that is usually good. So maybe we should do like different grades. Like air should be graded on like a, like a color. I, I mean, I kind of guess it, it is. is. It, it is. is on a color system. Yeah. But like on like, you know how like A, B, C, D, and S or something yeah, like that? Yeah, I do, Frank. Yeah. I know A, B, C, D. <laughs> we, should, we should go out there and just be like, you know how those like restaurants have like the food grade thing uh -huh. on it and you walk by and it's like, oh, it's an A+. Plus. That's what we should have just like in the... Like a plane flying overhead every day. I think that's what 
Well, I don't know what they do, to be honest with you. But anyway, it's shit quality air out there. And uh, I was flying back from Denver yesterday afternoon. And while I was in the air, I was like, they, there was a ground stop at LaGuardia, which was where I was landing. And I was like, we're not going to land. And then my family and my friends are sending me pictures of what can only be described as... <laughs> hell. Yeah. Hell. It like, like it's, hell. The whole sky is orange. You can't see shit. Mm -mm. And it just smells like smoke. And it's fucked. I'm going to say something that I want to make sure is out there. Although, yes, I am. You know, the air quality is bad and the affected people unhealthy, blah, blah, blah. Sure, cool. I kind of <laughs> like the smell. I like the smell, too. I kind of like walking outside and it smells like a cabin and, like, you know, you're, like, you're having, like, a cozy night and, like, a whiskey in hand. That's what I meant. So when I got off the plane. You walked the streets with a whiskey? No. That's what I would have done. Illegal. Uh, but I it's orange out. They got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, by that point it wasn't orange out because I landed at like five or something. But I got off the plane and then got outside and I was like, it "Smells like a nice, it smells like a nice like summer. a cabin living room, like a summer night. Yeah, like a red cedar. You know, something real like nice out there. You do, you can't tell the difference between trees. The <laughs> uh, smells that's of not trees. true. That's not the smells true. of trees. The smells of trees. A hundred percent. You are correct. Frank. Oh. Yeah, I said you are correct. There. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I was going to say, Frank, <laughs> no, you no, no. can't do this. No, I can't. I can't tell. I can look at some trees and say, oh, that's a dogwood. Oh, that's a, 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 a red maple. Oh, that's a silver maple. But I can't do it with smells. There's a silver maple? There are silver maples. I and couldn't tell you, you what know any tree is. You know why they're called that? Because the leaves are green, and then when they uh, flip upside down, uh, uh, they're like uh, silvery white. Don't. You don't I don't. I don't. I don't care. You don't care about No, bit. no, no. You should care more about trees. They can help save your life right now. Is that... I think <laughs> it could the be. Trees got to filter. Well, the trees cause the problem, Frank. What are you talking about well, here? No, no, no. Fine. First of all, all I'm going to say here is, for once, we have something to get upset about with Canada. They're always doing. They're always the like big brother to the north, where they're like, "Oh, everything's great up here." I don't know why they're Irish, but yeah, what the fuck? Are you yeah, talking you know. About? But like everything's now, we're like, "Yo, fucking Canada." I actually you fucked saw, up, bitch. I kept looking. Uh, I just typed in LaGuardia to Twitter and I kept refreshing to see if there was any updates while I was on my flight. Mm -hmm. And I saw so many people like blaming Canada. <laughs> I yeah, like, I love how that. do we avoid this? Like someone's like, yo, fucking wet your trees. Don't let them combust. Yeah, a hundred percent. No, the favorite thing, one of the favorite things I saw was like something like people were going back and forth like, oh, you think that's bad? Portland in 2020 was way worse. And it's like, hey, it's all bad. How about yeah. that? No, it, it doesn't matter who was worse and who was better. Someone uh, uh, tweeted, someone we know tweeted, like, I I'm, you know, the world is in shit because we're comparing wildfires to, like, LeBron and MJ debates. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And it's true. I mean. Um, yeah, like, treating them like they're fucking debates. Like, yo, this one's fucking way sicker. I, it got bad by me. Like, I think uh, last night, in, in, like, the middle of the night is when it got, like, really, like, the worst. Like, the worst it was here was the worst it was by us. Like, the air quality was, like, 360 by us. Mm -hmm. And now... It's at more of a manageable scale, but... Are you, like, a psycho? Like, have you, like, taped all your doors and I stuff? I haven't taped my doors. I have purchased a couple air purifiers. How many, Frank? Four. <laughs> you bought four? One for the living room. One, yeah. And then one for Ruby's room, Miles' room, and our room. That's it. The baby, the baby she's fine. <laughs> oh, she's in your room. Yeah, though. she's in our room right but now. But I, I also, I thought you only needed one. Like they no. like, do like a lot of square footage. You can get a giant one, but yeah, it goes. I bought one for my mom, and it was like fifteen hundred square feet or something. It was like fifty bucks. Yeah, you could do that, or you can. They didn't have that one, like in <laughs> stock. So I you got did the same day. I just went to go get it. I oh, that's I, nice. I don't like this buying online bullshit. I like to see what I'm buying. Maybe that's the most old school thing about me, but. It isn't, dude. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> what is? Uh, well, let's start with the fact that you listened to Bow Wow probably on the way here. <laughs> that's old school? Yeah, dude. And like Trick Daddy. I was going to say, I thought that Johnny Cash would have been the most old school part of it. Oh, well, that me. too. Yeah. But like, uh, those are like, there's like, <laughs> there's a difference between listening to like classic rock but and listening to like early 2000s hip hop for some reason. There, it, uh, give, it, give it another 30 years, then it's going to be looked upon. Like, yeah, Bow Wow will be in the same like echelon as like Led Zeppelin. And then it'll be more acceptable. That ain't gonna happen, my guy. <laughs> you don't guy. think so? Not at all. You Bow think, Wow? 
don't think people are going to look back and just be like, you know, dissecting fresh as I'm is to see like the hidden messaging behind exactly what he was saying. I feel like you will. I, I will or have. Or you probably, yeah, you probably have it yeah, ready yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, well, you ain't riding. You ain't bumping like I'm bumping. Okay. You ain't saying nothing, homie. You ain't fresh as I'm is. I think it's fresh as I'm is. 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 Uh, it's a very good song, guys. Go listen yeah. to it. I remember the first time I heard it, instantly went on my MySpace name. Yeah. It was You Ain't Fresh As I'm Is. Yeah. Naturally. We back- actually enjoyed, back then, things being spelled completely wrong. It was like, this is cool. It's yeah. spelled wrong. Yeah. It, well, Fresh As I'm Is was one of them. As I'm Is is A-Z-I-M-I-Z. Yeah, it, it actually is. Yeah. I know. Fresh As I'm Is. And there's there's other ones that are all backwards and stuff like that. You really like that song, U-O-E-N-O, and you, you often play it. Oh, uh, you're going to reference the Rick Ross line. Yeah, you often play How that. How did he think that was going to go? I wouldn't... Put Molly in her champagne... You and she you. has no idea. What? I've drugged her. Well, I mean, we can talk about the obvious pattern of, you know, degrading women and their sexual choices through history. I don't want to bring that. What does that have to do with him drugging a woman? Uh, because at the time he felt it was okay to say something like that for the mass public in order to fucking profit uh, off of it. I'm not going to get into that. Just Mr. Ross, not very bright. Hmm. That, was, that, was a, that was a pretty dumb move. It was a dull move. Uh, but also fucking mean. Back to the smoke. Yeah. Uh, I did buy a couple air purifiers. Nice. I, I, honestly, do you feel purified? The, honestly, there's no smell in our house. I I was shocked. I got to my apartment, nothing. Well, you you're in a relatively new building. They probably have a really good like air filtration purification system. Yeah. Um, but you know our our house is was built in like the '60s, mm-hmm. and I wanted to make sure. Like, if it was just Becca and I, it wouldn't be a big thing. But the kids, you know what I mean? Like, we have Maeve is only five months old. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, Miles is, you know, he fucking runs around and he's gasping for air when he's playing. So, wanted to make sure that it was clean in there. You and there was the kids outside run around? No, 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 no. Yeah. No, I can't do that. Of course. I can't do that right now. There's a lot of smoke going on out there. A lot, uh, quite a bit. Yeah. I will say, though, I got, we just set up our vegetable garden. Those are going to be some smoky ass fucking cucumbers coming They are. <laughs> They're going to be like mezcal cucumbers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like that, um, but yeah. Uh, not, I, I, I also also I, I need to ask. I mean, I I'm sorry to cut the story short, but I just I need to ask. I'm you're not sorry to cut no, the story no, short. No, I am because it's I'm, your turn to talk. I'm really excited to hear about your hot water heater yeah, just fuck exploding. You. Yeah. Well, first of all, fuck you. Because you're like I'll tell you on the show, but I'm just like really looking forward to knowing. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I've been taking cold showers. Uh, I tried, but we didn't have water pressure. So I went. You guessed it. Three days without showering. Did you? Yeah, I. Dude, you got a hose. I spray the hose. I did. I took. We actually recently got some wipes from a a, a company that sent them to us. Okay. And I took what you has, took wipe showers. I took a, a, what we call in what I call in my house, just a, a quick rub down. That's what. <laughs> that was the name you came up with. Yeah, I was gonna say Puerto Rican shower, but wow, you know, we just left there, and I don't want to be insensitive to the people. It's <laughs> fucked Puerto up that you say Rico. that. Why was that a thing when we were younger? I don't know. People are always just like Irish goodbye, Puerto Rican showers, like they, they, they Colombia neckties. Everything has a name in a country. Chinese of, finger trap. Well, that one I think. <laughs> <laughs> that one I think came from somewhere. You remember those things? What movies that make yep. you think of? Huh? What movies that make you think of? There is something, but I can't remember. Is it animated? No. You remember in Adam's Family? She has the metal one. Oh, no, that's not oh. what I was thinking of at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But, yeah, my hot water heater blew, and it fucking sucked. Did it, did it like, blow up? I didn't hear a fucking boom. What happens? I, bro, so I must have caught it relatively quickly because I was doing dishes and I had plenty of hot water. We had the, the, you know, I was cleaning up and stuff like that. And then maybe like 30 minutes after I stopped doing the dishes, I was getting ready to go to the gym, really work out, get after it, you know, push ups, everything I do there. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And my shaker bottle was in the dishwasher, which was running. So I was yeah. like, all right, I'm not gonna go in there and, you know, for the gym. Stop that where I'm going to go do, you know, some constant, you know, level cardio. Meditation. Meditation, yeah. This is all happening at 3.30 in the morning. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So I was going to go downstairs in, in like, our, like, boiler room where I have water bottles. We bought, like, a bunch of water bottles and fill it up with my, you know, BCAAs and and then leave. 
Oh, dude, we didn't need that information. Well, I I take BCAAs. Oh, no, no. I drink. I, I don't need acronyms. <laughs> I need nothing. Okay. <laughs> well, I had to fill up. With I had to BCAAs. fill up on my, you know, intro workout. Yeah. Uh, no, and I go down there and I hear like squishing, which. That was not bad. Are you squishing? Or are you just hearing squishing? So that's at first. And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? And I didn't bother to turn the light on because it was very sunny out. So I'm like. What the fuck was that? And I checked my pockets to make sure I didn't have any water in my pockets. Why the fuck then, would you have water in your pockets? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you hear what sounds like water and you check your pockets? You're such an interesting dude. What were you thinking was in there? A bucket of water was in your pockets? <laughs> I didn't know. You checked your pockets for water. The first thing I did was check my... Just to make sure it wasn't like... Can I ask a question? Yeah. Was there was there water in there? Of course there wasn't, <laughs> Frank. Of course there wasn't water in your fucking pockets. I, in my head, the thought process was like, what if it's like my keys hitting my wallet and making like a weird sound? Oh. Yeah. And like it yeah. like and then it turned into like, oh, if there's like water in my pocket. Yeah. And there was no water in my pocket. I know. <laughs> there can't. There can't be. There can't be, dude. And then I open because all the lights were off because it was really sunny out. As I was on my way to the gym, do push-ups. The BCAAs are now the BCAAs. running through your system. Yeah, right. It was just before I took my L-carnitine. Uh, <laughs> and I opened the boiler room door and I looked down and there's a fucking puddle of water. And I I was like... How much How much are we talking? I would say... So we have a 50-gallon water, uh, hot water heat, heat tank. I got it. I got uh, it out. Hey, 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 I, got, hey. I, got, I got it out. Yeah. And I would say there was 10 to 12 gallons on the floor. Whoa. Yeah. But How do it, you clean that? So it ran and like into our basement and like... On the carpet? Well, our basement is like the vinyl flooring. Oh, the yeah. vinyl tiles. But there is a, an area rug. The area rug soaked. No. And it was going toward the video games. You probably... Lost your fucking, I fucking mind. Bolted. Yeah. <laughs> and then I instantly look over. Not the toys. I instantly look over. It was going toward the Megazords. Dude. I saved them. Yeah. The you Megazords probably, are you okay. Laid down <laughs> in front of them. Like, no, no take it, me. It like it stayed in like one section of the basement. I'll show you when you come over. But uh I was like I was freaking out because in my head, whenever you hear something like that happen, you instantly think of just like Everything is ruined now, but it actually we've nothing was ruined. Oddly enough, it like escaped, like you know we like let the carpet dry out and cleaned it. We cleaned and moved everything. And I had to get a fucking wet vac, you know, Ugh. a big big old wet vac. It was fun. Those are cool though. But the part of the story that I wanted to tell, yeah, was the first thing I did was call my dad. Okay. And boy, I. Never knew what it was like to hear my dad excited to speak to me. Wow. All it took was just my hot water heater blowing. And he's like, you need me for something? He was that, he, bro, he perked up. He was like, hey, what's up? I'm like, you know, and, and I, you know how I am. I, I open with like a, hey, what's up? Not like a, oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, listen, the hot water heater blew. And he, I, I heard in his voice, he's like, okay. <laughs> Everyone take it easy. He was by himself. I was, it was just him and I. Every, everyone take it easy. <laughs> just me and you, bud. Just hey, me and you. You would have thought there was a fucking audience that he was performing. He's like, and we'll take you, go hot with him right now. And he's like, because he was a plumber. Right. You know, before he was an electrician and then during his time he did side work. Yeah. And <laughs> did he, he come? He came, but he couldn't. He's, he's all fucked up from getting hurt at work. Okay. So, so the joke was he he's had to pointing out. He walked me through it. <laughs> yeah. He told me. So he's like, all right, put channel locks on there. Bang it down. And I'm banging it down. He's like, harder. So after. <laughs> This guy, he's sitting there. My dad, I, I don't know I ever realized how much he loves barking orders at people until oh. I remembered my childhood. Oh, they love it, man. He was sitting there like this. <laughs> he's sitting there like this. Yeah. Oh, wait. Now, see? And, and everything with him was a fucking teachable moment. Oh, my God. So he was like, oh, wait, you see that? But, but. And he loved every fucking set. He was on cloud nine. Nice. And I was laughing because I was like, when you are a parent. Yeah. You'll get to a certain age 
where your kids kind of don't need you anymore. Mm -hmm. And like, you have to imagine, like you start to worry about like your value and like, what, you know, what's your purpose and stuff like that. At least I hope that's what my dad thinks. Right. That, that's what I want him to think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's probably just like, Columbia's sick. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, awesome. <laughs> um, but in that moment, he felt needed again. Yeah. So he fucking perked up. He was the the fucking horniest I've ever heard him. Dude, my if I told my dad that like something in my apartment, an outlet mm -hmm. didn't work, he would walk here from North Carolina like Forrest Gump. Bro, he goes, he he walked me through shutting it off, cleaning up, like cleaning up. He didn't walk me through. He just told me kind of the general. Did you have idea. to like mop? Yeah, I mopped and everything. Dude, I, by the dehumidifier down there. Do you, Oh, well, yeah. How to get a dehumidifier. You don't want, you can't don't want mold. mold, baby. You don't want mold. mold. Bro. Black you know, mold. Do you know? Careful. What? Do you know? <laughs> do you know how much? <laughs> do you know how much moisture this fucking dehumidifier picked up? Every like three hours, it was filled. Ew. It was huge. It actually looked like clean, drinkable water. I honestly don't even know what that is. I wasn't going to drink it. What? Oh, ew. You can't do that. Oh. Freak, can you? Did you? No, I wanted to though. I'm what not... about breast milk? I. Why is that the next logical question? <laughs> I don't know. I have not tried my wife's breast milk. What a bitch. Me? Yeah. Why? Dude, get a little sip. No. Figure it. Try it. No. Why? Are you scared? I'm not scared. I just. I have no Are you desire. Disgusted? No, I'm not disgusted. Well, it is then? an incredibly natural, beautiful thing, and quite frankly, something I will never be able to understand and comprehend because I am a cisgendered male. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you gotta get a little taste in there, a little taster. No, I, I Just a little bang a little. Bit I don't, in there. I don't. I'm sure there's. I'm sure like I've gotten some on my finger and not known and like bit my finger and there's it been a transfer of milk. How do? How would that even possibly count? What do you want me to sit there and suck my wife's tits until I get fucking milk in them? Dude, she's got bottles of this shit. I, uh, take an the, ounce from your daughter. Oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take an ounce from my fucking five month old I mean, daughter. Not an ounce, but get a little fucking little. No, she needs all. She needs it all. She. It's all for her. It's tailored for her. Who am I to take some of my wife's breast milk? Bro, she's gonna have a, 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 an excess. Not not every woman has an excess. Joey, why I'm, do you think that? I'm not gonna. I'm not saying that. Wow, but saying... Joey's sitting here and he's shaming women that don't have excess breast don't milk. Don't change the subject. Cancel. That's so fucked up. <laughs> That you think you think that your wife's milk is disgusting. No, you know I that? didn't say that. Stop said. that, Becca. Your wife, your milk, <laughs> I'm all fucked up. This your smoke, wife. this smoke is fucking my head up, baby. I don't know if it's the smoke. Maybe if you had more breast milk. Stop that. Then you'd be. You know, I have. I heard that it tastes good. Someone just said it. A basketball player, maybe. No, it was a streamer, Nick Merckx. He's like, of course I drink breast milk. No, it was someone else who who was like. I think it was a basketball player recently that was like, they had like a, a blind taste test. It was like almond milk, regular milk, and then breast milk. And he, and he chose the breast milk because it was like the best tasting one. I mean, I'm sure it tastes delicious. I'm sure it's incredible. I, I have no problem with it. What? These are the most like diplomatic pieces. No, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm it tastes sure, good. I'm sure that it's I'm like, sure it tastes good, but like I'm Becca sure it's just me, like everyone else. Becca I have no problem with it. She was like, it. why don't you just try it? And I was like, I have no desire. Like I've gone my- Wait, hold on. What'd you just say? My wife said, why don't you just try it? And you refused. And I did refuse. Because autonomy. I got control of my own body, bitch. Well, you know what? That has repercussions sometimes. How does that have repercussions? Because she probably cried that night. I don't think she cried. I sleep next to her. I, I would hear her cry. Mm, you fall asleep and then she <laughs> cries when you... She whimpers. No, she doesn't You can't whimper. hear whimpers. My wife doesn't cry. She's fucking... If anyone cries in the relationship, it's this little sap right here. That I believe. Yeah. What? What's that? <laughs> What? Turn your head like a dog. What does what does that what mean? Does that mean? What does that mean? I mean, you could cry. But yeah, so my dad felt super needed and wanted, and it was funny too because he told this story from his side, and he was like, uh, he was talking to me, and he was like, uh, you know, listen, I'll be uh, Frank, I'll be there in the morning. Don't worry about it. I'll be right there. <laughs> And I was like, Dad, you don't, you don't need to do that. You know, you have to get up early, and get here, and I'm like, plus, like, it fucking this guy can't, he can barely walk, you yeah. know. Uh, well, no, he got his knees done, so he's walking better. But <laughs> got his knees done. The way you said that is like, <laughs> like tits, like, like dude. Tits. <laughs> got, got his new, knees done. New knees, tits. they look great. Yeah, they look great. The big fat knees. Uh, but he told, and then I was like, no, you don't need to come. He's like, Frank, I'm like, do it. I won't come. He's like, Dad, you don't need to. We'll pay someone. It's no problem. He's like, Frank, a plumber is gonna cost you just on doing the work two grand. And I was like, all right, what time are you coming tomorrow? Yeah, right. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing. But I changed my first hot water heater. Good for you. And I didn't. Did do- you have to buy a new one? No, I had to fucking. I don't know. I, enter a raffle, Joey. Well, I'm not- <laughs> yeah, I had to buy a new one. What kind I of? Mean, qu- if there was something wrong that you could fix, just like. Oh no, it was out of warranty. Oh. Okay. We knew when we got the house that we needed a new one soon, but we really waited. Until it exploded. Until it exploded. You. you know what's funny too? Like, a couple all over you. A couple. Careful. A couple days before it happened, Becca and I were rewatching The Sopranos, and we got to the episode where his hot water heater goes. Yeah. And in our heads, separately, we thought to ourselves, like, we should probably do that soon. Yeah. And prevent a disaster. Well, that's what happens. Well, there you go. You live also, and you learn. George Carlin has a bit about this, but isn't it interesting that it's called a hot water heater? It's that's like a double. That's a double. Like, it's just a water heater. If it was a hot water heater. You're heating hot water. You know what I mean? Like, well, that doesn't make sense. I think it's I think it's the connotation of it's it's heating water to make it hot. So it's a hot water. I'm I'm saying that is heater. Wrong. No, I, I think I think in hot a way water. it works. Hot water. Yeah. And any way you put that, the word hot at the beginning, hot water heater. Mm-hmm. Dumb. Doesn't make sense. No, because technically, technically, uh, you would be a hot dog eater. What, wait, wait a second. Wh- where did you <laughs> just end up? What the hell are you talking about? Hold on. I know. I'm trying to make a point here. It's, in my head, it works. Hot dog eater. In my, head it, in my head, it works. Hold on. No. We're talking about water. Yes. You, it's, it's heating water. So you could say, yes, it's a water heater. But if it's a hot water heater, but it's already it's, heating hot it's water. It's dispersing the hot water. I'm aware of that. But you're like trying. I'm, uh, I'm right. It it it. Oh, okay. Hot water is okay, the object, on. and heating is what happens to it. So it's saying that it's a hot water heater. It's the heater that pre- creates the hot water. I think it works perfectly. Something with well. it. If you're a heater, or you're a, a rate, a, a fucking radiator, or whatever. Yeah, radiator. <laughs> what, what was the point of saying that? <laughs> then it's like those are also verbs. They do a thing. That's heater. Frankie, you haven't said anything that's made sense in the last five minutes, dude. <laughs> just... What the fuck is going on? Yo, he heater. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Say, man. I'm not even gonna. We should just move forward from this. Oh God, we have ads. Yes. I'm gonna say that. Give yourself a break. Have a glass of water. Couple, couple, couple of water. <laughs> there he goes again. Okay, well, we do have some sponsors for today. The first one being Squarespace. Squarespace, you can build your website. Uh, if you, you know, make content or you have an e-commerce store, you want to sell something or just give some information to people, you have a nice little business there, you're going to need a website. And Squarespace is the place to do that because they have amazing uh, templates that you can use and build your site very easily. I've used different sites where you have to build everything from scratch and it takes months or you have to pay someone a bunch of money to do it for you in order to make it nice but they make it so easy with these templates to create your site and customize it the way that you want um, and it's great and they also have a bunch of tools too that can help you with uh, you know connecting with your audience and uh, like knowing you know where traffic is coming from and whatnot um, and right now you can head to squarespace.com slash basement for a free trial and when you're ready to launch use the offer code basement to save 10% off for your first purchase of a website or a domain um, so if you're going to buy that domain, you get 10% off of it, okay? So go to squarespace.com uh, slash basement, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement, and you'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain, okay? So go uh, go check out Squarespace and go uh, promote your product or your thing or whatever it is. Um, next here, we have Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, okay, are we familiar? We've done some videos uh, for them on uh, San Diego Studios, which you could check out, but they are a sex toy company. They are the sex toy company, actually. Uh, you could spice up your sex life with Adam and Eve. They have a bunch of things on this website, okay? They have everything. All of the things that you think are there are there, and there's more. There's clamps. There's stuff that you could, you know what I mean? There's bondage stuff. There's things that vibrate, things that feel like things that you like. You know what you see what I'm saying? I don't know if I could say all these things. I don't think you're making you're making as little sense as I was. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, Adam and Eve wants to make your life easy. Uh, they offer discreet shipping, which is nice because you can't order you know a sex toy and it arrives on your doorstep and your old neighbor's next door and she sees a big box on your stoop that says dildo vibrator, fuck 
toy. You know what I mean? You can't have that. So discrete packaging, uh, which is great, uh, plus 100 percent free shipping with rush processing on your entire order. Okay, uh, don't wait. Um, but you will get 50% off of just about any item, okay, plus the free shipping, which I just said, um, which includes rush processing. So you will get this thing pretty darn quick, uh, and you'll get 50% off, okay, uh, just about any item. Not every single item, but just about every single one. Uh, all you have to do is go to the Adam and Eve's uh, website, adamandeve.com, and uh, use the code BASEMENT at checkout, B-A-S-E-M-E-N-T at adamandeve.com. Uh, this is an exclusive offer, like I said, 100% free shipping, 50% off of most items. Um, and yeah, go check it out. Adam and Eve. Let us know. Go spice yourself up. Actually, don't let us know. Be discreet. <laughs> and I'm going to let you know about something that there's no need to be discreet about. And that's a Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Folks, we tell you about it every single week. We post new episodes on there every single week. These weekly episodes, you get them a week in advance if you're in that first tier. And those, those exclusive episodes, those really sexy, so, sultry, sweet ones... That's that second tier, baby. Go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We're on our way to 2,200. No. No, 20, we're not. 22,000. <laughs> <laughs> and we pledged that if we get to 22,000, Joe and I are doing a brunch episode. Oh, yeah. Pancakes, bacon, sausage, I'm mimmies. Not, I'm not promising all of the food. I'll there help with food. the food. Oh, okay. Mimmies. Okay, if you bring the food, I'll bring all of the whole Mimmies, bellies, and maybe a bloody or two. Right, yeah. So you're definitely going to want to check it out. So thank you to everyone that has helped us get here. We really appreciate it. We're continuing to grow. So go check it out, patreon.com slash the basement yard, folks. Uh, there's really, it's a no-brainer. You know, you really want to do it, all right? So uh, <laughs> go check it out, and uh, yeah. Why are you looking at me? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I got a powerful urge to help you out and what you wish I really want to know. We've got a list of episodes at three miles long, no doubt, and all you got to do is click and go to patreon.com slash the basement yard. There you I go. Know, I'm not getting that one either. And you don't have to. I actually have a question for you that I thought about. Um, there's been some internet discourse around this, and I don't know if we've talked about it. If we have, who cares? Clips are better now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. But there seems to be discourse on the internet around peeing in the sink and i need to know what was what's that look for what what do you mean uh, there is not a toilet but like what are you asking <laughs> there me? is discourse which sink are you talking about like a kitchen sink or Ki like any sink any sink what? slop sink kitchen sink bathroom sink in what world would you pee in a bathroom sink when so i the toilet's right there well, okay so let's say kitchen sink then there's no dishes in your kitchen sink okay how do you feel about pissing in a kitchen sink joey well you're asking me is if I'm in a home. You're in your home. And there's a bathroom right there. But there's a bathroom. Up, let's think of your home. Okay. Your, your childhood home. Yes. You're in the living room. There's a bathroom at the top of the stairs. Yes. And there's, a, uh, well, there was a, a slop sink at the basement. Right. You know, so only a bathroom up at the top of the stairs then. Right. But you really got to go. Yeah. You think that I would hop on to the kitchen counter and piss into the sink? So I think you're really showing your hand here that you think it's a, a big no-no, a big X. Marks Pissing in sinks? Yeah, dude. I don't, I, I think there's, there's science behind it that can actually save. Science? Yes, it could save millions of gallons of water per year. Who, uh, oh my God. Um, <laughs> there's not scientific studies. No. There, Why don't you go piss outside on a tree like a dog? You can get in trouble for that one. Well, you piss in your backyard on your trees. It's, uh, stop that. I haven't pissed in my trees or backyard in, wait a sec. You just did it. Uh, there you go. On, Frank's pissing on. outside. No, stop that, Joey. Fucking inappropriate. Um, I think... I, so I am a reformed sink pisser. Time out. I just say... Where? At your house now? No, I have not done it in my current home. It's my home. What am I going to do, Joey? I'm not going to piss in my sink. That's what I'm saying. Where did you piss in a sink? At my house? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, but that would have been great if I did. I should have. You shouldn't have. No, that'd be disrespectful to your mom. She's a good woman. Your dad, by the, on the other hand, if it was just your dad's <laughs> it wasn't house. His sink. If it was just your dad's house, that sink was getting pissed in, bro. Well, it probably would have been full of piss anyway. Yeah, probably. Where, where, who's, where, where? My, my childhood home. So I, I remember there in were. In your kitchen. Yeah. 
how did you pee in it? Because you can't get on those those counters. You really want to know? Yeah. Right. <laughs> you really want to know? You put your hands up on the counter and supported your weight with your penis out and just peed. Was the water running or something? Of course you run water, Joey. You think I, I'm just going to let piss sit in the sink? No, I mean, at, I'm saying during the piss. Of course. Oh, okay. A little bit, though, because it saves a lot of water. All right. I, I, I don't think it's that bad as long Why as Why did you, you do that? You had two bathrooms. I was... <laughs> you had two bathrooms. <laughs> I had one bathroom and I never pissed in a sink. I was lazy, Joey. To do what? Go where? <laughs> Your bathroom... <laughs> Is probably equidistant. Equi? Equidistant. Equidistant. <laughs> no, I was a young kid. I was full of piss. Full of pee pee. And I just prop up. What's young? Probably 14, 15. That's old. That's <laughs> Young is young, Frank. Young, that is young, Joey. That, that isn't young. I'm sure I did it younger than that, too. But that's the last time I can remember doing it. 16 years old, you're in your kitchen, supporting your weight, pissing into your There, fucking... There are some arguments... No one caught you? Uh, no, I've never been caught. And I know it's not, I'm not the only one that's done it. My brothers have both said they've done it too. It's just a guy thing. Guys just like pee in places. It ain't! I think it is. I, I, I get pissing outside. No, it's, it's a guy thing to just like... You just like... You know how animals just like mark their territory with their piss? I think like humans... You need people to know this is your fucking thing. Sub <laughs> subconsciously. Yeah. Pissing in a sink. I've never done that. You piss outside. You piss on trees. You piss on your partner. You piss. What? 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 What, <laughs> what was that last one? <laughs> you ever been peed on? No. You ever pissed on? No, but I would. Really? <laughs> what? I mean, not on my bed. In a shower? Yeah, I'll pee on you. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't, listen, I understand, like, you shouldn't pee in your sinks if it's filled with dishes, but if it's a clean sink and you can clean up after yourself, whatever. <laughs> no, Frank, no. I'm just going to have to say no. Why? Because that can be applied to literally anything. I'm, I'm not, no one's shitting in the sink, Joey. What's Forget wrong I'm not with talking you? about pee, you psycho. I, if you shit in your sink, I swear to God, I would <laughs> no. pack up and leave right no, now. No, 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 no. I've never, ever, ever done that. Ever. Swear to God. Never, okay. ever. Have you ever shit in a weird thing, though? <laughs> I don't think so. This is a cartoon thinking face. <laughs> I don't think you've shit in the woods and wiped yourself with leaves. No. Or on a tree? What did you wipe your ass with that time in the Catskills? In the Catskills? Yeah, when you, had a, when you got out of the river and you had a shit and you shit in the woods. Oh, I didn't. I just ran home. Oh, you just... <laughs> Yeah, I just like you didn't even wipe. I went and went into the river, and I was like, I got it. What am oh. I gonna wipe with? I have a bathing suit on and nothing else. Your hand? Wipe it with my hand. <laughs> I don't what know. good will that do? <laughs> Shit here or there is. <laughs> That's in two places. I went back and like took a shower and like. I just I, I don't know I, I I understand why you shouldn't pee in sinks. I don't think it's as big of a deal. I think if you get caught, that's a different problem. How would that not? How? But if you get caught, and that means it's a problem. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. No. If you have to get caught, getting caught indicates bad. Just don't do it. And by it, I mean get caught doing it. You right, know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> like that's it. that's all I'm saying. I'm just thinking, like, listen, if you're in a home that has one bathroom and you really need to go and you can't wait, you could hold a pee, like just be an adult. I feel like, bro, holding pee hurts, dude. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean, I know. You ever gotten that hold to pee feeling where it's like sharp? It's like a, it's like a. It starts. It starts poking, like yeah. it starts poking like in like different parts. Does this happen to you when you when you hold a pee like really hard and then you finally get the chance to pee, your body's like, wait, are we supposed to? Are like, we? Are we sure? Second. Yeah, it, it like gives it a sec. It's like wait, wait, wait. I feel like that when I pee, like if I'm in like a lake. And I'm peeing oh in the no! Water. Lakes, I let it fly. Well, I I don't let it fly. Bodies of but water. My body's like, wait, no, we shouldn't. And then we do. I learned too late about that parasite that swims into your dick. I learned that from that movie that The Rock was in. The Rundown. I think so. Is it that one or Walking Tall? No, it wasn't. That I actually watched that. On, it's a good movie. It's not bad. Yeah, it's he's got that big wood. Uh, the the stick, I mean, not the. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> he swings a two by four. Yeah, no, I didn't do that. That's what you did. Um, yeah, you know, if, if I'm in a body of water and I got to pee, it's gone. And there's nothing stopping Do you pee in me. pools? No. Pools, pools is different. Crazy. I don't know. People, I mean, well, hold on. 
Vegas? Yeah, you pissed in those pools. Holy shit. Bro, I, I'm i pretty sure I peed more in that pool than I did anywhere else on that trip. Wow. That's disgusting. But I, I, I know people that pee in pools, and they're like, yeah, obviously. I'm like, no, what, what no, obvious? No, 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 I no. never piss in pools. No, I remember. I got scared when I was a kid. My Uncle Tio had a pool. Uh, uncle, uncle. Uncle, uncle. Yeah, there's a story behind it, whatever. Uh, <laughs> and he told us as kids... He was like, listen, we put a dye in the pool, so if you pee, it turns blue. blue around you, so don't fucking pee in it. And I was like, shit, all right, Uncle T.O. Well, that's probably the one of the biggest driving factors of why I don't piss in pools, because in the off chance that that does happen, because that is a real thing. I know it's a real thing, but I just, I, I don't know. I Why is that a thing? They want to really just point and laugh and ridicule the person that pissed their pants. That's what I'm saying. Why do we gotta? Why do we gotta do that? I I I don't know if you're like this. I think because of the pressure underwater, I have to pee more frequently when I'm in water. So I just pee in the water. You're probably just usually drinking when you're in water. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> like, he is that's pretty, why. He is pretty right. Yeah. I think most of my drinking. You ever th- thought about that? Has most of your drinking been on dry land or in bodies of water? Or what's the percentage breakdown? What's the percentage breakdown? Because most is it's probably significantly on dry land. Ninety ten, Frank. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh no, we spent a lot of time at the lake, dude. I know. I would say seventy thirty. No shot. Really? Pools, jacuzzis, lakes. I, jacuzzi? I'm not, I, I haven't. I don't really frequent the jacuzzi. Anytime. The last five times you've been in a jacuzzi, though, you've drank. The last time I was in a jacuzzi was probably last year. New Is Year's. That true? New Year's, you were in a jacuzzi. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you did that little boys trip. There wasn't a jacuzzi there. I think it was. No, I know, I was not there. <laughs> in the Poconos, there was a there was one. And I did drink in it. I also there was a sauna, and I sat in there for forty five minutes, <sighs> drinking White Claws, which ruined me for don't about do a month. that yeah, why was, would you do that Joey? Dude, i was like not the same why would like you do a week it? and a half why that was the dumbest thing i've ever heard you've ever done well that's why i did it because you're dumb yes oh, okay well at least you admit it that's what happens um so you're out on pissing in sinks frank i'm out on pissing on the sink i don't know joey i think it's not the worst thing in the world there there's some chatter on the internet where it's like you know they're taking like the alpha male approach where it's like only tall men can piss in sinks so if you're a short man it's because you are a fucking beta Oh, and you, oh, uh, what? I mean, I could piss in, I'll climb, I'll piss. You can't piss in a sink, Joey. I can't piss in a sink just standing up, obviously. Uh, Who's well, taller than the sink? That's so, a stupid house. Some of us. Some of us. You could also angle your pee so it goes in the sink. Who wants to do that, Frank? People that like pee? To pee in the sink, I mean? You would stand on the ground and just pee up? I'm not saying I would. I'm saying people would. Yeah, don't act like you're fucking taller than you. Don't your... even pretend like you don't get creative with your pee. Creative with my pee? Yeah, like you, 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 like you, you do the fireman thing. I know you do. What's the fireman thing? Where it's like there's a fire in your toilet and you got to put it out. Uh, you said that so confidently I've never done that. What? I do try to make as many bubbles as possible. Bubbles, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, or I try to cover the entire water with bubbles. I set a line in the toilet and try to fill up the water to that line with my pee. Jesus. Yeah, it's a lot of pee. That's a ton of piss. I pee a lot. Wait, how do you set the line? You just I just look at, at I look at a spot and I'm just like, all right, and I'll watch the water slowly like. And obviously everyone does the power wash as well. Well, duh, you got to clean your toilet with one thing and it's your own urine. It's your own piss. If, yeah. there's, if there's pieces of poop on the toilet, I'm cleaning it with my piss. Pee acidic? This is a very simple way to figure this out. Um, yeah, I know. It's right there, but I don't want to. <laughs> Did you say Hasidic? Because no. no, not like the Jewish men and women. Okay, no. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's acidic. Why would it be acidic, dude? It like, lives in our body. It can't be acidic. Yeah, but there's... <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, no. You fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> you though. fucking rat pig <laughs> bastard. <laughs> fucking idiot. No, our whole stomach is ass. Yeah. <laughs> rat pig bastard. Yeah, I'm an idiot for that. Yeah, it's um, all right. I, yeah, it's pro- I, I don't know. Yes? Okay. <laughs> what were you going to do with that? I don't know. I was going to wonder, because you know how they say, like, you can clean, like, car batteries with Coca-Cola. I wonder if you can pee and, like, it's, like, is urine acidic? I'm looking it up. since you. By were- the way, I, I, I heard that the jellyfish thing, when you piss on a person because of jellyfish, that doesn't do anything. I don't think so. Urine has the highest range of pH compared to other bodily fluids. 
The American Association for Clinical Chemistry says the normal urine pH is between 4.5 and 8. Any pH higher than 8 is basic or alkaline, and under 6 is acidic. So it could be acidic. So I guess it depends on what you eat or drink. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. The more you know. The more you know. Uh, we do have some more sponsors for today. Uh, we have Prize Picks. Prize Picks uh, is a fun game that you can play. Uh, you could download their app or go on their website, Prize Picks. Uh, they offer projections on any sport that you watch. This includes NBA, NFL, MLB, uh, PGA, college men's basketball, women's college basketball. Uh, but yeah, they have a bunch of stuff. And how it works is you pick two to six players, and if they score more or less than their projection, then you can win up to 25 times your money. Okay? Wild. Um, but yeah, it's just projections. So you go on, you say, oh, is uh, Jokic going to have over – nine and a half rebounds tonight then you say yes or no um and then you win based upon that and right now we have the uh nba finals is on uh they have a new one million dollar daily super flex promotion for the nba playoffs in the finals uh one entry placed after 8 a.m um will be randomly selected each day whoever placed that entry will be given a six pick flex with the following payouts six correct picks one million dollars five correct picks eighty thousand dollars four correct picks sixteen thousand dollars so you can see the full details uh at pricepicks.com slash million um but yeah crazy um but yeah go play some uh some prize picks download the prize picks app or go to pricepicks.com to sign up uh first time users can receive a 100 percent instant deposit match up to 100 dollars with the promo code basement uh if you deposit 100 dollars, prize picks will give you 100 dollars on top of that to play with matching up to 100 dollars. so if you put 50 they'll put 50 there you go. Uh, but don't forget the promo code is BASEMENT. You can sign up uh, for an instant deposit match up to $100. So get to it, folks. Our next sponsor is Etsy. Etsy is great. I love shopping on Etsy, especially when the holidays come around and for birthdays. It's always the first website that I go to uh, when looking for gifts for other people or something that I just want in my apartment as well. Uh, there is beautiful items that are made by independent sellers on this website. Uh, and there's a bunch of things that you can buy, uh, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, for all budgets, any occasion. Like I said, uh, usually when occasion rolls around, if it's you know a Valentine's Day or it's Christmas or someone's birthday, I will go on Etsy and see what's out there. There's wonderful things. I know I've bought uh, a wallet for one of my friends that was made out of like a baseball jersey on this site from an independent seller there. So really cool items that you can get, really cool gift, side, gift ideas. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That is the code NEW. Uh, maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. You can see terms at etsy.com slash terms for home style and gifts. Uh, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Again, uh, use the code NEW for 10% off of your first purchase if you're a new Etsy shopper. Um, and lastly here, we have Mood, okay? Uh, Mood offers federally legal forms of THC extracted from hemp plants. Uh, all of their products are regularly uh, third-party tested in drug enforcement agency registered labs, sourced from small family farms, and grown organically. Uh, the experts at Move have tested and tailored different strains for specific moods. There's energized, uh, there's creative, there's focused, um, and there's other ones too. There's sleepy, chill, social, you know, whatever it is. Um, but however you take THC, Mood has you covered. Um, so it's great for beginners and veteran users, uh, great tasting gummies, classic flour, convenient pre-rolls, and so much more. Uh, ready for a good time without guesswork? Order your THC products from Mood today and for 20% off of your first order and free gummies, go to hellomood.com and use the promo code BASEMENT. That is hello, M-O-O-D.com, and the promo code is BASEMENT for 20% off of your order and free gummies. So there you go, folks. Um, but yeah, um, I also wanted to talk about uh, this woman that we talked about it briefly before we started recording, but like this woman apparently in Queens, where What's we are up? from. Rep it up, bitch. She went to, what is the fucking casino? By Resorts the way? World Casino in Jamaica. I didn't even know there was one over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it. Uh, but this woman went into a, a Resorts World Casino in Jamaica, Queens, and she hits the jackpot for $42,949,672. 43. Let's round it up. Let's be cute. There was probably some cents in there. A couple cents. Um, it would have been the largest slot machine jackpot in U.S. history. Um, but she hit it. She took a picture with it, with the screen and everything. And then they denied paying it. Well, here's my question for you. 
Yeah. Let's start at the very beginning. Yes. What happens to your mind, body, and soul if you hit that? Because this woman, I think she described herself as like, being, she went completely numb. I don't even know. If I saw that I hit a jackpot for $42 million, I'd be like, we're gonna go somewhere. I don't know if I would be like, fucking like, scream, or if I would be low-key like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I think I would be pretty scared. I would be freak. I would be terrified. I would probably be like, I'm leaving. I have to go right now. Yeah. Print this out. Like, no one look at this because someone's going to fuck me up and take this fucking like, ticket. <gasps> and, then, and then immediately know, like, this is not good. And then I would have to, like... I would be... Bro, in my head... You remember, like, I think it was, like, last summer <clears throat> when there was the, the Powerball got up to, like... A billion or two something. Two billion or oh, something yeah. like that. I, I didn't even win it i bought a ticket and my mind went to where what i would do with right. money you know what i mean i was looking up like 15 million dollar mansions and shit like that do you why because i'm an idiot no you're an, you're an idiot for only looking up 15 million dollar houses uh, there was one that i saw not far from where we are that was really really nice frankie you have two billion dollars or we... one billion after the taxes you have a billion dollars you're gonna buy a 15 million dollar home that's like being a, a fucking millionaire and living in a studio for 1200 a month. People believe in that. I remember when I was a... Here's a funny story. I remember when I was a, like a teenager, I swore to myself that if I were to become a millionaire, I would just live in an apartment to save money on where I lived. Cool. Yeah. It was very dumb and stupid. But <laughs> if I saw that happen, I'm instantly like, I'm going to go and fucking lose my mind. Because your brain changes then. It's I would be like losing my shit. Forty two million, forty three million dollars basically. Um, but they said that the machine malfunctioned, and that's why they're not paying her. Um, but they did offer uh, instead of paying it out, the casino offered Bookman, which is the woman, a complimentary steak dinner, which is very close to forty three million dollars as complimentary steak dinner. Bro, I would have blown the fucking roof off this place. Everyone always talks about like this is my Joker moment. If this happened to me, I'd go full fucking supervillain. Are you kidding me? I would have lost it. I'd be like a steak. You you have to burn that place to the ground at that point. I right? would request. I'm like, if you guys can really only give me a steak, I want the whole staff lined up, and I want to be able to slap everyone in the face. Yeah, like, like I want something out of this. You need to get your forty three million dollars worth. That's what I'm saying. And you know. Punching people in the face, slapping them, that feels pretty nice. Or give me a million dollars at least to, as credit at this casino. No way, dude. I don't look, know. What? That's such a dumb idea. You're going to burn that instantly. She's not going to get anything. Um, the New York State Gaming Commission, uh, they immediately pulled the machine from the casino floor to fix it and it is now up and running once again. The commission said that the, by law, they can only award her uh, her actual winnings by, that was printed by the machine was a whopping... Two dollars and twenty-five cents. Listen to me right now, dude. Gods, whomever might be up there. Sure. If this were to fuck, don't. I'm not one of your little soldiers in this moment. If you do this to me, I'm going full fucking evil mode. Yeah. I'm not gonna be happy. I'm burning that place to the ground. I'm finding the the person who made the machine, machine gun to the tits. Right. <laughs> I don't know. You know. <laughs> like machine gun to the tits. I don't know. I would be so fucking angry, and and I actually I also read about her. She grew up in foster care. She was temporarily Stop. homeless. So this woman thought like, oh my god, like this is finally, it. Finally, yeah. It finally, like all my good deeds have come back, and they're in my favor now. That's horrible. Is there a GoFundMe for this woman? Donate half of your uh, paycheck this week. Half of your uh, to make to match her forty three million. Okay. <laughs> um, the uh, her she has an attorney. Duh, and, fucking duh. But he's fighting for the casino to pay the maximum amount allowed uh, by the slot machine. So you can only really win sixty five hundred dollars in one shot on the slot machine. So he's fighting for at least to get that. And then it's gonna go right to him. Lawyer fees. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What's the fucking point? Well, uh, maybe he gets paid based upon like. An amount, he like a percentage of the amount. Or I don't know. Well, yeah, they get it, but I think they also have to do like. God, that's so fucked, dude. 
I would be, yo, I'd be so mad. Yo, that should be on the casino though. I get it's $43 million, but like, bro, change my life with the amount of money you're going to give me. Like at least give me like fucking 250K. Like you guys fucked up. You had a fucked up machine. Like what does that have to well, do with Well, they, they have, they have postings along uh, in casinos that say like any malfunctions, you know, completely like eliminate any winnings and stuff like that. I think That's the part, convenient. The, yeah, exactly. The part that really fucks me up. And I remember I said this the first time we went to Vegas. The very, very first time we went to Vegas, I remember seeing some of those slot machines. Because remember they have like slot machines where it's like the fucking Wizard of Oz and the Simpsons and, yeah. you know, uh, friends. And it's all electronic. And I said, I was like, bro, this is fucking like, I would be way more comfortable if I went to a casino. It was like the old slot machines where you can't really fuck with them that much. You can fuck with all that shit. I know you can, but like, I don't want the electronic ones because in my head, the casino is going to fuck with it and be like, oh, you didn't win. Yeah, or, or they're going to like max it out. Like you can rig these things to not pay out $10 million. Is there any way, is there any like way in Vegas you can win at a machine like $45 million or something? I don't know. That's, that would have been the biggest one in history, it said. But what's, what's the next biggest? Oh, I don't know. And like what machine were they using? I don't know, but I did see one time we went to uh, Empire and... I've when, never been there. When I was walking, it's mostly just like electronic, but there is a roulette table that like it spits out a ball like an actual ball. So I was like, so we would play that because mm -hmm. it's like not a machine. Mm -hmm. um, but when I was walking out, a woman won like 13 grand at a machine. Yeah, bro. 13 grand is not $43 million. No, I know. But, and also she had like no reaction. I was like, she must've put way more than yeah, that in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually kind of sad because there's a lot of like older people there at the slot machines. And I'm like, this is probably what they do every day. It's well, it's, uh, anytime you see those movies, you know, and they fucking pull the slot machine thing, they get the sevens, and then all those quarters come running out. Like, yeah, what the fuck is why, with the quarters? Yeah, why? Well, because that's, that's what it used to. That's what it used to be. You'd put you'd put court, coins in it, and it would just shoot it all back at you. And I remember seeing those in like at a young age, being like, "That doesn't that doesn't look like you're winning that much," you know? Y yeah, you're winning maybe like four hundred dollars in quarters. I don't know. I I I haven't really ever won like huge. The biggest thing I've ever won was a Super Bowl box. It was like 1800 bucks, I think. Oh, yeah. No, I've it never... It wasn't even like a crazy one. Like, it was like... The, the biggest I've ever won was... Uh, oh, I don't know if I ever told this story. What? It was a 50-50 raffle. You ever heard of 50-50 raffles? Frankie, <laughs> hold the fuck on. Are you talking about like at like charity events? Yeah. They do a 50-50. Yeah. And whatever the amount of money they collect, you win 50% of that. Yeah. And, go, no, tell it. <laughs> Tell a story. So usually, hold on. Should I tell this part first? Go ahead. Because if you're not familiar with 50-50s at a charity event, usually you win them, and then you go, well, we're obviously going to give this back to the charity. Yeah. No one takes a 50-50. You give the 50-50 yeah. back. Yeah. You didn't. <laughs> how much did you win? And hold on. Just say how much you won. That's my first question. I think it was like 1200 bucks. Okay. Second thing. What was it for? <laughs> Just tell me what it was for, Frankie. Who did you steal $1,200 from? So we know someone that had a uh, form of cancer. That's, a, that's about it. That's just, it's about it. That's it. No, so listen, <clears throat> it's an okay story. I was very broke at the time. We had just booked our trip to Vegas. <laughs> Vacation this happened? No, it was, so it was an You were very broke at the time. I was but very you, broke. You paid for a big vacation. we had just paid for our Vegas trip. And I was there with some family and friends. And the first drawing came out. And it was a number, and no, and the person who fucking had the raffle ticket, no one was there. They weren't there. So then they were like, all right, let's do it again. And they did it. And I was like, and my brother in law, Danny, was standing right next. He's like, yo, you fucking won. And we started freaking out because it was $1,200 cash, bro. It was fucking cash. Yeah, yeah. So I'm freaking out. I'm going hype. And then someone puts their arm around me and they're like, you know, you're supposed to give it back. Someone said it to you? Yeah. And, you s and then I was like, oh my fucking God. 
So I walked outside and someone came up to me and they were like, listen, you don't need to give it back. They've made a ton of money today. Like you don't need to give it back. And if you were to ask this person, they would say, keep it. You're fucking broke. You're in college. Like you. And I spoke to the person who the charity event was for and they were like, listen, thank you. I can't take it. You take it. And I think I ended up giving like $300. And what a I, good guy. <laughs> what a good man. Bro, I had nothing. I had nothing. You had a free trip to Vegas is what you I had. Did, I did have a pretty nice little uh, sum, sum yeah, of money. That's hilarious. But even $900 in Vegas is fucking nothing. That's very funny. For man. the amount that we went, you know, the time we went. But yeah, I, I'll tell you exactly who it was. I don't know if I want to say who it was, but I'll tell you who it was. You know the person. I know them? Yeah. Very funny. I I also had it. I was. To- I just want to make sure I pre- preface that. Like, yeah. I was told by the person they were like, "Listen, thank you so much, but I can't take this." Like, I, I they've known me my whole life. Yeah. And they were like, "Take it." And I was like, "Listen, I'm gonna give you some." And they were like, "Thank you. That's kind, but like, you're you're good." Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there was one time. They, <laughs> so they died funny. a month later. Well. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 they were three hundred dollars short. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They were nine hundred dollars short to make them live. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, th- uh, I forgot where I was, but the same sort of thing happened where there was a fifty-fifty, and there was a lot of money, and someone we were with was like, "I really hope my parents don't win this because they're not gonna give it back." Really? They won. Swear to God. Who was it? I can't remember. Oh shit! I need to ask my family and be like, "Who was this?" And they were like. They're not gonna give it back. Yeah. But, wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if I. I. I I'm. I'm a good person though. I want to make well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> after you. After you do something like that, it's only up. Like now you're a good person. No. Now, now you know. Right. But I did the right thing. I think I tried to give them the money, and they said no once, and I said okay. You know you should. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. You said it. No, no, no. I, I was. I remember. <laughs> like because I already spent. It's it. funny. I remember being really torn up about it. I was like really, really like I. I was legitimately really upset about it in Vegas. No, before <laughs> at the event, at the event, and I remember saying like, like fuck, and and someone like I. I literally had like fucking people over my shoulder. One person was just like. Bro, fuck it. You won the money. Like, you don't need to fucking give in to these. And then someone else was just like, you should. And then there was someone that met in the middle, and they were like, listen, like, you don't need to. It's okay. Like, everything is all right. Like, you can give a little bit if you want. And I, I had to go up on stage and say I was giving. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you had to go on stage and do what? I, they, they, because they, like, called me up on stage when I won. And they were like, they kept me there. And they were like, waiting for me to announce that I was going to give. And what did you say? I was like, thanks. And I fucking got off stage. <laughs> That's horrible, it dude. It was fucking, bro, it was like a fucking curb moment. Hold on, hold on. Stage? How many people were there? There was, it was, there was at least, I would say, I would say at least like 200, 250. Maybe, maybe less, maybe less. That's insane. Yeah, it was, it was quite the uh, situation. It literally is a curb moment. That's it, a George Costanza thing. <laughs> I won the money. Yeah. <laughs> And and then I remember when I said I was gonna do, they I, they gave me back on stage and they were like by the way the, the, he won and he's gonna give a portion of the money back to uh, you know so and so that's honestly probably worse <laughs> isn't it yeah I just heard a sound I, I heard that too and I was like second. oh fuck oh fuck yeah well um, yeah we could wrap up here anyway but that is a great story <laughs> yeah it is a really that. good story I definitely want to know who it is. Uh, I'll tell you about it afterward, but okay. actually, before we wrap up, uh, there's something I've been I wanted to say. I was actually a, a, one of the girls from the lake got into the like rocket science program at Michigan. Okay, Kaylee, Kaylee Nocera. I just wanted to say her dad asked me to say give her a shout out. I've known this girl my whole fucking not, well, not my whole John. life, her life. Big old John. Big John guy. Big John, Meg, great people. Riley, Kaylee, great people, great family. Love them to death. Rocket science, I didn't bro, know legitimate. Like a- Rocket science. I didn't know that you could just be like, I, I'll choose the rocket science. You know when people say like, oh, I it's, not like, rock, it's not rocket science. Like, no, this is rocket this science. This is exactly what it is. I didn't know you could choose rocket science. I, did, I, I think it chose her. I think that's the thing. Rocket science chose her. Oh, the universe. You know, like you don't choose the game. The game chooses you. You know what I'm saying? I the, don't. This, uh, the streets. The streets. Is that what chooses you? Which is the one that people say all the time? 
I have no idea what you're saying. I don't know, saying. but nonetheless, I've known Kaylee her whole life, and I just want to say I'm proud of her. Congratulations. Michigan is going to be better off with you. With you. It'll suck when you're gone. It sucks right now. It'll suck when you leave, but you're going. It's going to be great, right? And it had a bright spot there with Tom Brady when he was there. Well, there was a little bit of a bright spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, congrats. That's, that's really awesome, and uh, we're proud of you. Yeah. I've known her most of her life, too. We've never said hi, I don't think. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think you've ever spoken a word to her. But I've had a bunch of beers with your parents, and it's, it's that counts. Yeah, you're, if anything, your parents, <laughs> take it easy. they're fun as hell. <laughs> you know? uh, but, yeah, uh, yeah, you guys can go follow the show at uh, The Basement Yard. On and I think her sister Riley hates me, but that's a whole other story. You had to sneak that in. I had you? to. I wanted to make sure that, you know, now I, she's pressured. She can't hate me now. Yeah, I hope she does. Oh, yeah, I hope she <laughs> Of Alvarez8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez, and all other forms of social media, and fucking blast that fucking subscribe and bell and hit that shit. Fucking patreon.com slash basement yard. I'm upset that I did that. Yeah, I'm, I, <laughs> uh, you guys can go follow me at Joe Santagato on all forms of social media. <laughs> you can follow the show at the basement yard on TikTok and Instagram, and that is all. See you guys next time. Don't you fucking dare. I thought you were going to spit like that.